Hey everybody, it's Tommy with A Better Time, and I uh, got a, uh, a gorgeous watch. And you know something? These are the kind of watches that if you want to start, um, you know, if you're just falling in love with the, uh, the vintage thing, I know a lot of people that watch this are hunting down trying to find the next deal, and I love that. I get that. I'm that guy. You know, um, we all are. But if you're just starting to try to get into um, vintage watches, then obviously uh, we want you to. And this is one of those watches that uh, you can start out with a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous timepiece. Look at this. This is an Elgin automatic. And that dial is awesome, right? You got the sweep second hand. It is a day date function. So it's gonna tell you the day of the week. It's also gonna tell you the, uh, the, what day of the month it is. Um, this is, let me get a loop on this. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to find, I'm not seeing really, nope, the crystal is in great shape. We do like to tell you. Um, there's also outside the uh, green, outside the green on that dial, there's also a gold sort of chapter ring. You can see just to the outside of that green with hash marks all the way around it. So it really is a very, very unique uh, dial with the uh, three different uh, colors on there. Um, you've got that inner circle and then uh, the, the green on the outer and a much brighter gold on the chapter ring. You've got the uh, the day and the date um, window in the three o'clock position. It's a Swiss made automatic watch. The movement of your arm is going to wind this watch. And uh, it's a screw down case back, which in theory makes this a waterproof watch. I don't recommend wearing vintage watches to swim in. I mean, these things are vintage people. They're, uh, you know, in some cases, you, you know, you're getting closer to antique age. In fact, some of the stuff we sell, you know, we do have antiques in here, which for a watch would be 100 years old. Um, whether they say waterproof or not, or water resistant, as a rule of thumb with vintage, I recommend people not get them, you know, submerged in water. But, um, you know, once you buy it, it's your watch. But that would be my recommendation with all vintage. It's on a nice leather strap. It has retained all of the gold plating. There's nowhere on there that any of that is uh, worn off. And it is really in amazing shape, right? The, uh, the case back is good. And uh, people, this is how you start. You want to get into uh, to vintage. This is an opportunity to own an Elgin wristwatch, right? An automatic. So you put this thing on and the movement of your wrist is going to wind it. You're never going to have to worry about putting in a battery. And then about once every five years or so, you bring it into a watch shop. You have them oil the thing up, right? You just do a, uh, a once over on it. And then usually every 15 or 20 years, maybe you'll have to do some kind of an overhaul. But uh, people, go take a look at what you could buy for $150 with a modern watch. Um, the amount of effort that goes into uh, making a watch like this compared to a, uh, you know, what you can buy today of the, uh, the fashion watches. And inside there, you have a very, very complex movement. An awful lot of movement parts. You see the weight there? Well, that weight moves with your hand, right? And as that moves, it's going to wind the watch. And there uh, is a beating heart. I mean, just where are you going to get that kind of beauty and that kind of precision that took that, uh, you know, the amount of time that these pieces took to make and uh, be able to come across something like this for $150. Honestly, you talk about just a great way uh, to get into vintage. Now, obviously, I had this prepared the case back already almost off so that I could uh, show you what the movement looked like on this. Um, all of these things are then we give them once over again, make sure that everything is ready to roll. And then we cinch down that uh, case back tight. People don't take the back off a watch. If you do not know how to take the back off a watch, please. Because what happens is big scratches get put on the back of watches and some of the most beautiful timepieces in the world. You would not believe some of the things people have done to uh, just exquisite timepieces. And there's something so beautiful, like you saw the, uh, 
Um, you know, some of the watches that I've pulled out that are 75, 85 years old, we've got some that you're going to see that, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the video we did on the, uh, the Moser, but you know, Moser is a hundred plus years old and has managed to, uh, to remain in pristine condition when people start trying to do things themselves. I'm not saying I'm a genius people, right? I mean, taking the back off of a watch is not something that requires a science, but it requires tools. <laughs> it requires things that, uh, that are made to take the back off so that you know you're not going to do any damage to the, uh, to the case. So there you go. An Elgin vintage day date automatic um, on a leather strap in really excellent shape for $150 to make us an offer. You're just not going to come across things like this, people. Not, I mean, for, for that kind of money, what are you going to get today? Really very legitimate question. All right, I'm Tommy with A Better Time, and we'll see you on the next watch.